Right, we are living in a world where financial services sound almost like tech companies, describing themselves as a platform business and an ecosystem curator. A senior executive of one of the major banks in South Africa expressed that banks, and more so South African banks, have to become platform providers in order to defend themselves. Otherwise, they will become back office generating thin margins and become completely irre irrelevant. In other words, they have to go from being a banking provider to a platform business, one that is future ready. He went on to say that instead of selling products, they need to be a coordinator of relationships. Good afternoon. I am Jonathan Jacobs, a solutionist at Synthesis. And with me today, I have Craig LePan, who is part of our business development team with a specific focus in Salesforce. How's it, Craig? How are you? Good and you, Jono. Great to hear your introduction. Thanks for having us here today. So before we get into the specifics of what Salesforce is and our partnership, Craig, tell us, why Salesforce? Why now? <laughs> Thanks, Jono. Yeah, so I mean, Synthesis is a newly registered partner. Um, I'm very excited about the way forward with, with Salesforce. And, and yeah, the timing is interesting because um, not quite a year ago, but certainly in 2019, uh, you know, we met with uh, one of that same bank's execs um, who had literally directed us to say, you know, meet with Salesforce. Uh, we met with Mark, who was out of London. Uh, it was quite interesting to understand that, you know, Salesforce doesn't have a, a strong country base in South Africa and that they have still quite what is referred to as boutique partners in, in the country. Um, you know, and as an AWS partner, you know, we've built a strong consulting business uh, with local skills. Um, and yeah, the message was, you know, that demand is coming. Um, obviously, that, that bank in particular was already on a journey and was about to kick it up a gear. And we'd heard in, in many of our current banking clients how they were really looking to Salesforce to solve for customer experience, personalization. Um, and so, you know, the suggestion that we as a, as a strong consulting business, digital business, cloud business should really consider Salesforce you know, brought us to this point where, um, you know, and we've brought on people like yourself who've really seen the power of Salesforce. Uh, I love the solutionist and, and our analyst business. I think that's some of the most instrumental people in being able to grasp the power of Salesforce. Um, and yeah, that's where we find ourselves really at the start of a, of a new journey with Salesforce and, and the road ahead. Thanks, Craig. Thanks for that. And uh, Craig, Tell us, for our audience that may not know exactly what Salesforce is, how would you describe Salesforce? Yeah, I, I mean, it's so interesting. I mean, as a long time user of CRMs, I mean, Salesforce's stock ticker is CRM. Um, you know, that's what they picked very early on. Um, you know, they, they're well known as being the really truly first software business that moved away from licensing. So often, obviously, not confused as, but, but pitched as a CRM. Um, my short experience with, with Salesforce shows me that there's so much more than a CRM. Um, you know, there really are a platform that allows um, a business to really change experience of their customers. Um, I think a, a customer relation and management system that just works with your salespeople and your marketing people and doesn't really touch the lives of your customers or change the experience, that's a true, you know, what people understand as a, a sales system or a service system. But yeah, obviously in, in generic terms, it is a CRM, it's a customer relationship system. And the, the two big platforms that they built out was the sales platform and the service platform. And now there's a number of offerings around that. Um, but, but for me, it's, it's a system that can really be, be built on and, and be much so much more than just a system for salespeople. It's a system that should, should really impact the lives of your customers if you're using the platform. And, uh, and Craig, you mentioned uh, in the Y Salesforce, you mentioned the concept of, uh, of using our local talent. Can you just touch more on uh, enforcing um, Salesforce or being synthesis and becoming a partner? Talk about the partnership and, yeah. uh, and how important it is for a, uh, a local presence of Salesforce in South Africa. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I've been encouraged to see having worked with many consulting companies, but particularly Synthesis um, and having seen how we've grown, particularly 
you know, skills in, in cloud and AWS. And Salesforce has a fantastically transparent system of skills and certifications, which is obviously driven by the, the Trailhead platform. And, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's the most mature, most well-managed platform I've seen for, for guiding, guiding people onto courses. It's so well gamified. You know, the whole concept of badges and, and ranges and, and trail guides that you've seen uh, makes it so interesting. And, and, you know, that's really needed because sometimes technical platforms have quite onerous requirements and, you know, getting onto them requires a lot of um, the company itself to incentivize staff to do that. So I think there's, there's no sort of, it's not a low barrier by any means, but I believe people with, you know, a, a matric background, a degree, a graduate, some aptitude can really empower themselves in this country. And, you know, we have really a, a lack of, 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 of skills. And, and I believe it's a platform that can provide a relatively low entry to you know, graduates, school leavers, and then even people that are wishing to change their careers to be part of this demand. And, and really exciting to be able to provide, you know, digital solutions for large banks and not just large banks. I mean, there's really, what's exciting for me, I mean, I've got a, I've got a particular client that's using Salesforce as a single user, you know, so you can really go down to startups and, you know, my current advice is don't look to anything else, start with Salesforce, even at the, at, at the low end, you know, you'll get, you'll get value from it. But yeah, the, the, the people side is massive and, you know, we're not saying we won't look outside um, South Africa for skills to go into projects, but, but for sure, we believe we can bring on through our academy, um, you know, training pr people and just really give them a skill set that, that is effectively a global skill. And, and quite quickly, they can be earning, you know, a dollar related skill, which is so, so important at this time for, for our country and for skills of young people. Thanks, Craig. Yeah, when you speak about trailhead and trail mixes, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually awesome. Uh, I got sucked straight into that in the beginning. I found myself. So for, for any of our viewers, trail mix is a, uh, an online platform that uh, allows a user of Salesforce to actually learn um, and educate themselves through the Salesforce uh, playground. You can build you can, your solution. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can build solutions through the playground. Okay, Craig, we know that Salesforce has an array of offerings, but uh, in particular, does Synthesis have, uh, have Salesforce offerings that we'll provide? Yeah, absolutely. So as I said, although there's a, a quite a large ecosystem of, of, of solutions from Salesforce, um, the, the, the big ones really that are fundamental and core to the platform are the sales platform, uh, which typically touches customers, you know, which, which deals with um, a, a typical sales process. Um, you know, from, from an engagement perspective. And then obviously the service component, which allows for, you know, contracts, SLAs, response times. So those are two very sort of often matching components, you know, where sales is often the front end and then service deals with operations at back end, making sure that customers are experiencing delivery post the sale. And, and those are two, two great channels for us. And we've built a lot of, you know, banking front ends, uh, onboarding systems, um, and increasingly, our digital team, I think, will look to those platforms to say, you know, should we build a whole customer domain system or should we just look to leverage what's already there from a, from a Salesforce perspective? So Salesforce deals very well with concepts like accounts, contacts, um, uh, leads, opportunities. And those are actually fundamentals of business in, in any business, you know, and any business that's dealing with, you know, customers, quotes, sales, and then tickets to open up operations. So, so we'll follow that track. And then, of course, the, the new interesting um, you know, product from Salesforce is this financial services cloud, which has been built very much on that same platform where you know, the financial services environment can look at Salesforce to manage portfolios of investments, of assets, um, where today that, that environment is probably quite bespoke. There's a lot of homegrown solutions. So we're very excited about the financial services cloud and be able to work with that sector and offer them a cust again a platform that really their customers would get huge value from. Yeah, the, I find that asset management uh, side of the financial service cloud offering it's 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 awesome. Um, I uh, during my experience with the financial cloud um, specialist um, trail and um, super badge, it was uh, it was awesome to see what you can actually do with the um, asset manager as, asset management piece. Yeah, I'm um, well done getting that badge. That's, uh, I mean, it's so new that there's not even a, a true certification. So that super badge you've earned is, 
effectively the closest thing to a certification and it's a, it's a key part of our, of, of our ongoing skill set we're building. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's, uh, it's great to have the, the, um, the opportunity to pursue these uh, super badges. And uh, on that note, uh, Craig, I'm, I'm nearly, uh, nearly catching up to your uh, accolades. Um, and right. then it, as you mentioned, uh, I, I get a free lunch, which is awesome. Absolutely. Right, Craig, we've spoken about why Salesforce, but why would a business owner want to get involved with Salesforce? Yeah, John, I mean, a good question. And I think it's something that something like Salesforce and cloud platforms are often seen to be, you know, just the domain of technical people and the IT firm. And that often, particularly if you talk cloud, people think, oh, that's just, that's just you know, infrastructure. Um, I mean, you know, our cloud business seeks to do much more than just put in place a change of infrastructure. You know, cloud isn't moving your data center from down the road to somewhere in Ireland, you know, or in Cape Town and now matter. It, it has to be about a business change. And Salesforce is, you know, their, their own people, if you spend time with them on calls, they absolutely know that the value of, of a Salesforce for a business is not about even just making their sales people more efficient. It's about making that, that business owner's customers have a great experience. I mean, you know, I, I shared a video recently where Mark Benioff was interviewed. And I think his classic example is, is one of Marriott Hotels, where, you know, he goes to Marriott Hotel and he knows Marriott's a Salesforce user. So Marriott, you know, when he walks in the door, that they're able to remember, you know, that he likes a sandwich in the room when he arrives. They, they give him a key. Um, those are the mindsets that I think in South Africa, particularly, you know, we haven't yet seen that level of, of sort of custom experience. And, and today, you know, custom experience is obviously everything. It's almost cliche now. But, you know, business owners ultimately know that their customers have very strong voting rights with other suppliers. So delivering a truly, you know, a truly superlative experience from sales through to service, that's what businesses have to do. It doesn't matter whether you're selling, you know, widgets or financial services or insurance, it's that superlative end end from first touch from sales through to delivery. That's what I believe something like Salesforce offers. It's not about making your salespeople more effective. Yes, it, it will certainly do that, but business people must look at it as, effectively a change in the way they engage your customers, not just empowering the operations or their sales staff. 100%, Craig, if I can add to that. I mean, customers today need to feel that they are known um, and that they need to feel that, that, uh, that they, um, you know, at, at, and, uh, and that their providers or that they, um, you know, if, they, if, if it's a bank, that the bank is actually there at every step of the way. And custom uh, and, and Salesforce actually, you know, provides that um, and yeah. allows a solution to be built around that, which yeah. is um, you know extremely valuable in uh, in today's digital times. Yeah, we've, um, we've talked about personalization in in our banking environment, and it's a very hot topic. But you know, personalization for me isn't just, and it's a very hard thing to do. You know, with with uh, twenty thousand, thirty thousand customers, it's very hard to know everyone personally. Um, you know, but personalization isn't just about you know social media identifying what you're interested in. It's about really trying to understand, you know, what Craig does want and, and what his family wants. Um, and that's a, that's a big challenge for banking. And it's certainly what they've recognized as, as, as is the answer to, you know, the more boutique startups and, and the financial services that can be more personalized. So yeah, personalization is, is a Salesforce promise. Um, and, and certainly with, with, you know, the right implementation and touch points, I do believe they can deliver on that. Right. Um, and also another cool thing about Salesforce is the, is the ability to use a mobile app or the Salesforce mobile app and the dashboards on a, uh, on a PC and all cross platform. Um, and, and, um, there's a, it's, it's extremely the experience or the user experience, uh, as a developer, um, is it's just awesome to be able to create dashboards on a PC that, that actually are rendered um, in a in a in a decent way on a, on a on a mobile app today is um, also just a, a sad uh, advantage to to a platform. Which yeah yeah totally. I mean you know just at a, at a nuts and bolts level, obviously the the Salesforce um, is a classic CRM, and and my first experience with Salesforce actually was one where when I went to reports and dashboards, I found so much there that I hadn't been able to utilize 
in previous mm-hmm. platforms. And to your point, I mean, you know, having it on mobile, having it on, on all platforms, looking the same, you know, whether you're an executive or a salesperson, um, yeah, information is, is huge about, and, and yeah, there's, there's just, you've probably seen it in, in, in the trailheads, uh, the ability to build really compelling screens, you know, of yeah. dials and meters and dashboards. And often that stuff, that stuff can take a huge amount of work, you know, after, after the fact. But often it tends to be there in real time. And yeah, just, just an incredibly powerful tool set that again, you know, I know analysts like yourself and solution guys are going to have such fun in projects building those solutions because they, they look great, they're functional, and they can mean so much to customers and they can be changed so flexibly. You know, you're not having something that's very bespoke that a customer's left holding and as developers gone, you've got this platform where the skills yeah. are, are global, you know, and you haven't built yourself in, into a corner. Yeah, it's this agile approach, you know, to the whole dashboard. You know, you can actually, in real time, as you mentioned, see the data, but you can take yeah. that a step forward. You can see that if the, if the dashboard is working for you, that, then you can even think of, of, of better ways to customize it. And if it's not working, it's, it's, it's developed in such a way, it's, uh, it's quite easy to change, um, you know, yeah. and uh, so it's, it's really beneficial that. All right, Craig, in, in, in closing, I'd just like to thank uh, everybody for joining us today. And um, there is a virtual summit that is happening on the 31st of September. Perhaps, Craig, would you mind telling us a bit more? Yeah, sure. So it's actually uh, 30th, Jono. Um, but oh, yeah, we'll be at that virtual a- event. Um, it's, 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 you know, it'll be on, on our website. It'll be on uh, the Salesforce pages. But yeah, a very interesting, you know, virtual agenda. A great opening keynote. Uh, you'll hear, for, you'll hear trailblazer sessions from that, uh, that large uh, financial services customer we've been speaking about. We're no surprise to see who that is. And yeah, really other interesting sessions in different domains from the motor industry to retail um, and stories from obviously outside Subrica as well as Subrica jumps into the Salesforce environment. And we will have a virtual stand there. So we've, you know, we as a partner have invested in, 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 in this summit as well. And it really is for our region. So, you know, this is targeted at Salesforce Live, Middle East and Africa. We're proud to be there as a new registered partner. And we look forward to you know virtual visits in this new world where unfortunately we don't have real conference anymore but this is the, the new normal and it's a it's a digital experience much like much like salesforce is so we're certainly happy to connect with customers um and 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 at, at that event at the end of the month thanks again thanks again for joining and if you have any questions uh, please don't uh, hesitate to contact us at insights at synthesis.co.za. That's insights at synthesis.co.za. Thank you.